Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome ooh, to my summer series of building together. Now, over the next two months, we are going to tackle seven projects. Some will be upgrades and others will be full-blown custom PCs. Oh yeah, that's right. And I am so excited. I am so excited to share this together. And this month also kicked off the Summer ASUS PC DIY campaign. So for additional content and PC building tips, definitely check out the link right here and join along on their social media campaign because they're doing all sorts of giveaways. And I probably should mention that one of these builds will be given away by ASUS too. More details to come on that, but before we do that, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to ASUS and EK Waterblocks for sponsoring these videos. There will be nine videos in this series and here are the topics that we will be covering together. So the first episode is the one that you're watching right now. I'm introducing the series, but we're also going to do a complete build today in this Taku. The second episode is specifically focused on different motherboards and we'll see the CPUs also explore different thermal paste application patterns and load the M.2 and RAM for each build. Additionally, episode two will have a completed build of a PC that I am going to be giving away to one of you. In the third video, we will go in depth with each of the cases that I teased earlier, and then we will install all the motherboards, plus we'll start with the cabling. We will also complete a very special tough gaming build, which is for the summer ASUS PC DIY campaign which ASUS is going to use as a giveaway. That's right, so that is pretty exciting. So if you follow along, you will have a chance to win this and then a build directly from me. Video number four will dive straight into unicorn land, video cards. All of my custom builds will have 3090s. Some will be Founders Edition, others will be Strix models. So we will be taking these apart and also taking a look at Waterblocks by EK, along with their newly released Active Backplate Waterblock Editions. For episode number five, we're gonna get real chill because we will be discussing all things radiators and fans. We're gonna talk about optimizing cooling, where I plan to do intake and exhaust, and I'm gonna to attempt to paint my first radiator as well. And I'm particularly excited about this episode because we have a few different cases to show how things get planned. Then we move to video six, which is technically cooling part two, but I wanna call this video pipe dreams. Here we will do all of our custom bends and I will install a distro plate for the first time in three different builds. Video seven is when it all comes together. We're gonna leak test all the builds, explore different coolant options, and then post test all the rigs. In the eighth episode, we're gonna take a break from all this custom stuff and do a rig update in my Z11. That was my first ever mini ITX build. We're gonna swap out the AIO with this brand new Ryujin 2 AIO. And then lastly, my final episode, which I am fondly going to title the Threadripper Redemption Story. I'm gonna troubleshoot some of the issues I've had and rebuild this using some old and some new in the Lee & Lee O11 Dynamic XL. So that is the plan and I'm really excited to share this journey with you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna follow along with this series or if you just really love Andy and Abby. Wow. And without further ado, let's get to this Taku build. Now this case has been around for a few years already, but today we're gonna build it with current gen parts.
So, what do you think? I think it came out really cool. This is unlike any build I've ever done, so I was really excited to do it. And I have to say, it was pretty easy. The instructions, it was essentially eight, 10 pictures. It didn't even have words. Now, if you're someone who likes a clean workspace or wants a wire-free setup, this Taku really could be perfect for you. Now, I don't have a wireless keyboard, but this is the same size as the Claymore 2, which would slide perfectly underneath. But I do have the newly released Gladius 3 mouse. So just imagine if everything were wireless and how it could look. Also, there are two additional cutouts for cables. I put my phone on the left side, and if the monitor base was smaller, I could technically rest my mouse on the right side. This is the ROG Strix XG279Q. The base, it is a bit wide, so I would check out some of the other ASUS monitors like in the ProArt line. The Taku can hold around 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. Now in terms of actual PC components, the motherboard is the ROG Strix Z590 iGaming motherboard. And because I mounted an 11th gen CPU, I was able to benefit from Gen 4 NVMe. So I installed Western Digital Black's SN850 two terabyte drive. And for the RAM, I used two eight gigabyte Vengeance RGB Pros from Corsair. So if you plan to build in this case, I recommend taking out the SSD drive and this metal mesh plate before you install your GPU. It will give you a lot of freedom to snake the cables in the direction that you want without having to squeeze your fingers inside the case. And in here, you have space for one 3.5 inch hard drive and two 2.5 inch SSDs. Now for the GPU, I installed this super cute 3060 dual. It's so small, I love it. If you happen to have a longer dual slot card, this can accommodate up to 280 millimeters. In terms of power supply, this case can accommodate an SFX or an SFXL. And in here, I have the Corsair SF750. Other than the CPU cooler fan, which by the way, I slapped on that ROG sticker. I think it looks quite good. There's another fan in here. It uses a three pin connector. So FYI, if you're using a motherboard like the Z590, it only has a four pin connector. You can still plug that three pin in. You just won't be able to control the fan speed. So it will always run at max speed. Now I know this wasn't the most complicated build, but I found it really enjoyable. And this thing is super unique. So that is the end of this episode. Be sure to tune in next week when we tackle our motherboards and hopefully I won't bend any CPU pins and I will complete an entire build that I will be giving away on this channel. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you look down below, you'll see the PC Part Picker build list along with the ASUS PC DIY landing page. Definitely go check it out. Lots of great info and giveaways too. So you wanna make sure you get involved. Until next time, bye.